Hi! In this video, I want to create a custom template for the product page on my site. My site is currently using the default WooCommerce template. I want to create a new one, combining WooCommerce and theme elements in my preferred way. I want to make a layout like this one, with a vast product gallery and basic info about the product and delivery on the side. Additional information about the product is below the gallery, and there's a relevant products carousel at the bottom. I can easily create such a template in Impreza, and I'll show you how to make one. I'll go to Templates, Page Templates, and create a new template. I will edit it with Live Builder. To simplify the process, I will go to the Theme Options, Shop, and specify this new template for the product posts. This way, I'll be able to see the changes I apply in the template by simply refreshing the product page. I'll start by adding a row element. In this row, I'll add a breadcrumbs element to simplify the navigation. In its settings, I'll also specify to show the current page. I'll use the separator to create the needed spacing between the elements. Next, I'll add the inner row element. I want my product gallery to take a wide part on the left and some info about the product to stay on the side. So I'll split the inner row into two columns. I'll add a grid element to the left column and set it up to show the product gallery. I will also use its appearance settings to specify the suitable grid layout. I'll save the changes and refresh the product page to check how it looks. I like the gallery's appearance. Next, I want to add some info on the right side. First, I want to add a product rating. I'll use the product data element and specify the relevant item in its drop-down settings. Next, I want to show the product's brand. For this, I'll add a post taxonomy element and set it up to show the product brand. I'll also use its design settings to increase the text size. And I'll add some spacing between the elements. Next, I'll add the product title via the post title element. After this, I'll add a price. I'll use the product data element again, which shows the price value by default. In its design settings, I'll increase the text size a bit. Next, I'll add the Add to Cart button. I'll save the changes and check how it looks. I see all the needed data displaying correctly. Now I want to add delivery info below it. I'll add a vertical wrapper to create a visual accent for this information block. In its Design Settings tab, I'll specify paddings via the spacing. Also, I'll add border settings for it by selecting the border radius, width, and color. Next, I'll add the icon box element with the delivery information. I'll open the element settings and specify the description and relevant link. Next, I'll choose the icon and icon style. I'll set the icon position and text alignment in the element's appearance settings. After this, I'll duplicate the element and enter similar data for the information on returns. Also, I'll slightly increase the spacing between elements in the vertical wrapper element settings. I want this whole column on the right to remain fixed during the scroll. So I'll activate the Fix This Column switch inside the inner row's right column. I'll save the changes and check how it works. Now, the entire section on the right is always visible. Next, I want to add more information about the product below the gallery. I'll start by adding the Tabs element and choosing its relevant style. Next, I'll rename the Tabs. The first one I'll call about product, and the second one is for reviews. I'll remove the default text in the first tab and add a product description instead. I'll use the post content element to show full content for it.
Next, I'll add a product data element showing the product attributes. I'll add one more product data element to show the data on SKU. I'll move on to the Reviews tab now. In this tab, I'll add a Post Comments element to show the comments list with the feedback form. I can also add a review count near the tab's title via the comment count shortcode. I'll save the changes and recheck the product page. Now I see all the needed data and reviews below the product gallery. The last thing I want to add to the template is the list of relevant products at the bottom. I'll add a new row element first. In this row, I'll use the text element to add relevant heading and heading style. I'll use the carousel element to show relevant products. I'll specify it to show items with the same taxonomy of current post and a product category as the taxonomy value. Next, in its appearance settings tab, I'll choose a suitable grid layout the number of columns, and the spacing between the elements. I'll add the navigation arrows and specify their size and position in the carousel settings. I'll also activate the infinite loop switch for the continuous item scrolling. I'll save the changes and check the final result. It took me no time to create a custom product template containing all the information I needed to display via the desired design and layout. Thanks for watching. In this video, I created a custom template for the product page. In the following video, I'll show how to customize the product catalog via the grid layout.